יעל פרלוב שלום. שלום לך. And welcome to Culture Buzz. And thank you for what we have just seen here at the Begin Heritage Center. This is your project. This is basically your baby called Water. A wonderful cooperation, an Israeli-Palestinian one, dealing with everything that we are missing. Starting with water, but there is more, right? Right. <laughs> so this is the second year. The first one was coffee. Right. Can you tell us a bit about what does it mean to you? How important is it? Uh, well, firstly, I uh, initiated another project two years ago. It, I searched a subject that uh, will be, let's say, not that political. And I thought about coffee, you know, coffee, it's stick people together. I didn't want too much folklore in it, but I wanted the urban landscape. I wanted something that will connect, be connected to cities, to big cities, which means Ramallah, which means Tel Aviv, but uh, something very urban, and uh, all dealing with coffee. So at that time, we had around 40 uh, papers, and uh, we chose uh, eight. Uh, there were four Palestinians and four Israeli directors. After uh, this project took part uh, at the F International Film Festival in 2010, it, was, it became a very successful project and everybody told me all over the world it's the best coffee in the world. So we were all very satisfied. I know that, you know, I don't delude myself that it will not bring really peace, but at least I created a laboratory where people can meet, can work together, can think together. There is a dialogue. And, the, and there is a dialogue. Okay, ten year, ten, it was in 2010, and then two years passed, and we decided to, after 2010, we decided to take another project. This time I chose something more connected with nature, uh, water. And uh, I didn't know that it was at that time, it was the year of the UN, it was the year of water too. Oh. Then I understood, I realized that it's completely a political issue, but once I chose it, I had no idea. I mean, I don't come from politics, I come from politics, I come from cinema. I wanted to choose something that brings the time, nature, you know, nature is, can be very photogenic in cinema, to leave the big cities, to arrive to little villages, that's what was, that was... In my mind, but I never thought it would be so political. Then I learned the subject. Um, I met some uh, Palestinian directors. They told me, you know, they laughed. They, they, when I told them we want to make this time water, they said, ah, this will be the next intifada. I said, why? I said, because it's a big issue here. It's a big political issue. So I learned the subject, and I traveled all over Palestine. And then I found some reality that I, I never know because it's hidden. Not because I'm not interested in it, because nobody knows that. I mean, I think that the media, we don't know a lot. I mean, we don't see enough. And what I saw, I decided to make it and to, 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 to bring the Palestinians the possibility to shoot their own life. And I suggested them to go to documentary films in order to, to be honest with reality and not to create fiction and stories and dialogues and just put the cameras in the right place, choose the right prototypes, choose the right characters, moving characters that have to tell their story. So uh, that's how it, 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 it was created. Really? We, and we have two documentaries, Palestinians, and we have uh, one fiction, Palestinian, okay. and we have... Um, uh, five uh, fiction Israelis and one documentary Israeli dealing with the Palestinians well, in, in not far from Hebron. You have accomplished a lot during this project. Yeah, it was a long process. Yeah. Yes, it was really and we have to thank the Tel Aviv uh, film department. Uh, yeah, it was department. all. Yeah, of course, because I, 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 I'm not interested in doing it independently. I wanted to that the stamp of the university will be there, which means that there is a university in this country who believe in peace, who believe in, uh, in creating dialogue. And I think it's much more interesting than to do it uh, independently. Uh, I, I took my, my students, I'm teaching there, so I teach there, so it was easy to reach my students, to choose among them the, the, 
the most beautiful scripts and to and to make the films, and uh, and uh, it was easy. The, there was all this structure to to make it, and then uh, I began to raise money with the university, but also alone because as I believe in things, I push it, and uh, people believe that I can bring results. So. Uh, the American put some money, and uh, the Israelis put some money, and the uh, French, and the French put some money. Everybody put some money because, as I told them, the best coffee in the world was done already. So let's hope that the best water in the world will be created, and then that's how we begin our project. And it's quite obvious after watching the first five uh, film, short films that this is a work of love. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> But my question to you. It can be quite depressing watching it because of the conflict. The question is, do you find hope in the works we have just seen? Is there hope there? Unfortunately not. I think that I was myself, I surprised myself because I, the hope was in the process. But finally, when you watch the films, there is really lack of... Of dialogue I mean uh, but it's so important to show it because at that point we can begin we can yeah. restart and retalk about it but yeah. the process was full of hope this I can tell you it was really wonderful I mean they met each other and and the negotiation and you know it began with a little bit of suspect and uh, susp- suspicion suspicion a, a little bit a little bit of suspicion and uh, a distance but slowly but surely you They became to be close to each mm-hmm. other because of the work, mm-hmm. so this brought me a lot of hope. I mean, mm-hmm. hey, come on, I'm doing that I'm, I'm, uh, it, it happens in front of my eyes, the process. The stories showed another reality, so there was a little clash between what I succeeded to create, this laboratory, that they speak to each other, they really wanted the curious to know each other. They, I saw it they, they wanted to talk to each other they were curious to know each daily each one daily life but the films themselves the result. to, the results the film themselves the stories are still very hard mm-hmm. to to digest mm-hmm. it's hard the documentary are hard they are hard to watch it the, they, they show a very miserable reality with no hope mm-hmm. But, and also the, the, the Israeli chose um, the script that shows that there, in fact there is no dialogue. I mean, you can see it uh, with the feel yourself at home, the maid. I mean, they try to dialogue, but at the end mm-hmm. she goes back to her village. The Israeli, she continues her, her day, you know. And uh, they, 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 they are not close, mm-hmm. in fact. I mean, so maybe it's because they are dealing with the present and maybe with the past, but not, not even thinking about another future. No. no. Maybe, they, maybe this is for the next project. Yeah, we have to think something that will even... Will, well, I don't know. I have to think about it. But uh, I, 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 I know that it must bring something. I mean, it, 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 it moves something. It's, it's, it creates... sort of relationship yeah. and in these days where everything is so frozen and people just ignore each other yeah. uh, the Palestinians they see the you know they the Palestinians see us as you know as only soldiers who are the checkpoints because that's what they know we see them as terrorists we are afraid of them so you have this um, stereotype so I really wanted to break to just to shake hands and to see that We are not only soldiers, yeah. they are not only terrorists, yeah. so at least this I achieved I, 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 I made this achievement, but still there is a lot of work. Yeah, Perlov, I want to thank you very much thank you for very much. offering offering us a mirror yes. for your work of love and a lot we, of love and respect to people absolutely, and wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Goodbye.